no, no, no. Like yeah, but back on the, on the signs, that, that play a lot of role, but we do have to take time to ourselves and realize that a person will be who they be regardless at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So everybody have their choice on what they feel and what they believe, but I feel like that every sign, they might have similar ways, but they all are not the same. That's you know? right. So, right. so they can play a lot of victim, but me personally, I feel like a counselor and I, we vibe more together. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do these counselors do? No, right? they ain't did nothing, but I can get, I can get with one. But what I'm saying is, we get along more better as just vibing and kicking and hanging versus to trying to be in a relationship. Yeah. I track a lot of Scorpios for some reason. Ooh, I don't know why, but for some reason I track them. But I just feel like I can get along with anybody. Right. But uh, I got to get my boy D over here on the mic, man. He look quiet back. I think he was sleep on me over there. They took the shades nah, off. Nah, don't worry about it. You good. Nah, y'all good. Y'all good. So, uh, what you feel about uh, D? Okay. I mean, uh, from the perspective of uh, horoscopes and, and people like me, I've, I've had, I got a PhD in sociology with, with, with people. I, I, I look at people and I look at patterns in people, right? Mm -hmm. So me growing up and dealing with like, so many people in so many different states, I looked at the zodiac signs and I started grouping characteristics of people, mm -hmm. you know? Some people in this zodiac sign carry these characteristics. Some people carry those characteristics. I'm an Aquarius, right? So my zodiac sign is the man that gives water uniquely. I need to feed all the rest of the animals of the zodiac. Unless it's the Gemini that has two people inside of them with Sagittarius that's half man and half animal, right? So other than that, to me, every, every other side is an animal that needs to feed off of them. Otherwise, you're going to get hydrated and die. Mm. But I'm looking at all the characteristics from everybody else because I grouped them. And there's good people and bad people. And they're necessarily good people and bad people because just because somebody does something that you don't agree with, that you're going to make them be a bad person that's right. as yeah. opposed to another person who looks at that person and says, this person is who I love and oh, oh, it doesn't do anything. So there's no such thing as a good person or a bad person. They just do things that you don't agree with. Mm -hmm. I don't agree mm -hmm. with that statement. There are good and bad people. Mm -hmm. they, but there are good and you bad disagree? people. Disagree? But to you, right? They, they might do stuff bad to you. Yeah, but people, right. I think we always looking for a reason to write somebody off, like I said earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might have dated a uh, Scorpio, but I liked a lot of things that that Scorpio had to offer. But then that Scorpio hurt me. So now it's like, F all Scorpios. Well, you knew it was a Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm well, saying. that's not right. So I should have <laughs> known I was going to get big. So if I'm a Pisces, then are you saying that I should be attracted to water signs? No, you because I can't. supposed to go with the flow. I, I do, but we got yeah. fish going in two different directions. Get in your way, <laughs> go in your way, stay in your stream. You know? But I'm saying, I'm a Pisces, and my zodiac sign is two fish going in two different directions. Right. So, what do you get when you get with. y'all flip flopping because y'all lost. Right. Y'all be flip flopping. One minute you want, the next minute you don't. I like to think I'm consistent because, you know, I think when you say flip flopping, my, my opportunities or my areas of opportunities. And not just being a Pisces, but just me as a person. Because I don't look at it as like because of my zodiac sign. I think because at the same time I'm emotional, but at the same time I'm also strong. You know, so my downfalls that I have on myself is I'm a very forgiving person. But when I don't forgive you too many times and you keep on biting me, now I'm a vicious person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that that comes that's not from your zodiac sign. That that's what I'm saying. Right that's why I don't go through like the, the zodiac signs. I think that zodiac signs you can see that people have comparisons in their characteristics and their behavior. But for me, like I say, like sometimes you might just write off a person because of your experience with them. But me as a, a woman, and you might just say, okay, well she's she's a Pisces and they feel floppy, but. The only way that I can relate to that and say that that could be true is because you might write somebody off the first time they burn you. Me, I, I might give you more than one time because I'm such a forgiving, nice person. But after I don't forgave you two times, <laughs> now I'm like, I don't F with you no more. And now you're going to think I'm tripping. Uh, yeah, so back like, I understand all that. I'm glad we went over that discussion. But let me ask y'all later, son. As a woman, are y'all open to being led by a man? I will take that tap of that first. I um, had a discussion with a close friend of mine some years ago, and uh, one of the things she said is that I don't have a problem with letting a man lead me and submitting to him if I trust his judgment. Amen. And Amen. I agree with that. 
And so when I when I meet a man and he doesn't really have a mission or a vision, or he's not really just trying to build and he's stagnant, or you know, he can't control his temper, you know, all these things, I I factor them in and I look at the way he moves and the way he speaks and the way he treats people and I determine whether I could trust his judgment. Is he gonna be hot headed and you know, get us into a situation out here where mm-hmm. when he could have, you know, opted out or taken the higher road. Is he a rowdy guy? Is he going to get us caught up into a fight somewhere? You know, does he have a mission? Does he have a vision? Is he about something? Mm-hmm. So if you're just trying to lay up with me or if you're fussing with your baby mama and you're just going to this job every day and we don't really have a clear path forward about how we're going to win, I can't, what is it to submit to? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So that's that. just my take on it. Miss Cece? I agree with that um, 100%. I've always said that it's something I've always said. Um, I grew up <clears throat> very traditional background. I was raised by my grandparents. So my grandmother was very much the submissive wife when she ran things. Mm-hmm. But she was the submissive wife and she had her ways of running things. Mm-hmm. So um, I've always wanted that. And that has been something that's always big in me when I'm dating that's why i said that i took the step back to start looking at building a friendship and really get to know a person because i want to know i'm a submissive woman i am a very alpha female i am a boss in my daytime life and where what i do in my life but when i come home i'm soft and supple and i want to submit to a man but I need to submit to where we're going. I need to know where we're going. Mm-hmm. I'm not submitting going to go into the corner store. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I want to submit to someone that has a vision and a path of where we're going mm-hmm. that I can agree with and fall in line with. Mm-hmm. Because as women, we are the nurturers. We are the people that multiply. We're multipliers. So whatever a man's vision is, we get in there and we bring it to fruition. I need you to give me something to work with. Yes. And so if you don't have a vision for mm-hmm. me to bring to fruition, mm-hmm. we don't really have a purpose together. Because we don't know how to help you. We, we don't know how to help you. We're helpmates. <laughs> and so you have to give me something to help, something that I have to, um, you have to give me a job mm-hmm. to come and do in a relationship. And it's not just to be your sexual conquest. Yes. I need mm-hmm. to cook your meals. Mm-hmm. It, I, I need to have a bigger purpose mm-hmm. in the relationship than just that. Mm-hmm. So yes, I am very much a submissive woman. That is something that I look for is, can I submit to this man's authority? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to piggyback on what Kate said, um, I am open to being led by a man. Now, uh, what I what I say man, I don't mean like just because you grown, mm-hmm. like man. Mm-hmm. Meaning like I've, I've, I have experience in raising children I have experience in a lot of different things. So my mindset is very, very, very mature. Mm-hmm. In order for me to submit, meaning to, to put my eggs in your basket mm-hmm. and let you go, you know, and let you handle that, I need to be sure that you're going to handle my eggs with care. Mm-hmm. I absolutely need to be sure, coupled the fact that I have, I also have two children. So I have to be very mindful as to what I want to follow. Mm-hmm. So, so, so just because you're a man and you have testosterone and your balls hang to the floor, <laughs> does not mean that you can lead me into where I need to go. Because if your credit is trash, how are you going to lead me into good credit? If whatever you have going on is subpar, and mine is above that, what am I submitting myself to? <clears throat> I'm submitting to a subpar way of living because mm-hmm. I not only have to take myself outside of myself, and uproot my children from whatever, but I have to put my eggs in your basket and your basket is smaller than mine. Mm-hmm. So I don't find value. I, I will follow you, but where are we going? That's a good mm-hmm. question. What is the plan? Mm-hmm. Do you follow God? Who do you answer to? Mm-hmm. Are you in your ego? Yeah, yeah. Or are you actually submitting yourself to God? Because that's the only time I'm supposed to follow you. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you just talking out the side of your neck. Mm-hmm. I feel like blind you need to do blind need to blind. All right. Yo, what you say? Um, I, I, would, yo, I would definitely submit to a man. I just have to learn how to because I come from a family of very dominant women mm-hmm. where we don't submit at all. We mm-hmm. don't listen. We do what we want to do. We talk how we want to talk. We make our own money. Mm-hmm. And we're going to just operate how we want to operate because we can get it done by ourselves. Mm-hmm. I'm what they call an independent black woman. I don't, mm-hmm. don't want to be that way. I don't yeah. think that's a good thing to be at all. So, 
Um, if I do feel like a man comes in and he could really lead, um, be take control, and not just to be controlling, but take control and give me wisdom, um, like you said, follow God. He's not operating the ego, his higher self. Um, then, yeah, I probably can lead. Um, let him lead. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about I can lead. That's the problem. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, I have to, I have to learn how because I'm just so used to doing everything by myself because I was just raised up to be very independent. That's how I, I have to, to learn. Be a damsel. I, I, don't like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to be a victim. I don't want nobody to look at me as a victim. But you have to change your mindset about that. Because, because being, not a being feminine is not being a victim. It is and I'm being, a very masculine person. Yeah. I mean, so you mm. have to allow a man to be a man. Like you can't. I don't. Yeah. You can't, you can't be masculine and expect a man to come be masculine. Because if he wanted to be with a, his home dude, homeboys, he going to get a dude. Yeah, you but know. if he's wanting a woman, you have to learn to be soft and supple. So when he comes to you, you're his safe space, his soft place to land. He want to be with his own boys, he can go hang out with them. Mm -hmm. But when Your he comes home queen, to you, you're your supposed soft. to be soft, his safe, soft place to land. So but I have a nice and soft one like yeah, That's my issue. <laughs> I don't like being vulnerable because I don't want nobody to fight. They're gonna play with me. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I have a real problem with even much letting my guard down and being vulnerable. That's when you have to learn discernment. Pray for discernment. Yes, that part. Okay. Because once you ask God for discernment to be able to tell and to discern, mm -hmm. you will get a yeah. notification before this you even go you in. Yeah. Mm. She got my that biggest from, thing. I, I think she got that from her daddy because her daddy was something like that. <laughs> my, my, my father, my daddy wasn't around. My brother and sister daddy was around. He was a street nigga. But he was a father. Okay, I didn't find out that I wasn't his until I was grown. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So for me, having children with two different fathers, I don't understand how you don't treat them the same. the same. Right? So I would put away, I would steer away from people that made a difference in between my children. Mm -hmm. That's a strong suit because I don't understand what that's like. I didn't even know that I wasn't my daddy's child. Yeah. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And when he found out that I knew, he was mad. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so how am I to accept you treating this one this way and this one this way? Equal. So I don't understand that. So I can't be with a man that make a difference. I know that. Mm -hmm. Even if you handsome, even if you got all the money, you got this, you got that, you rub my back, you rub my feet, you lick my ass, whatever. Jesus I, Christ. I cannot <laughs> deal with it. I can't deal with it because I know that you making a difference and I don't understand what that's like. Not only that, because that's family. Family with the children. Yes, it does. Because I've been like, the child that the difference is made out of. You see what I'm saying? And I went through a good part of my life with self-esteem issues because I was always treated like I was less than. Yeah. And I was always told that I wouldn't be anything in life and X, Y, and Z because of who my biological family was. So and when you start bullshit. doing yeah, when you start doing that, it's something that carries with kids a long time in their life. And, and I've been through years of therapy. I've been and single sometimes for I still, yeah. And so that's the same yeah. thing with me is like I have a daughter and Whoever I submit to is gonna to have to be look at her as if she's there too. Now she has a very active father, mm -hmm. but but she still needs but that. she still needs that. Like if we you're in this household, she needs to understand that she's protected in this household. Yeah, like she's not in the house, just like when she goes over there. So so with so, that, so with that with that being said, you know, and that's true. You know, I can understand that truth. At the end of the day. Any real man, me speaking as of me as a person, who I am, you know what I'm saying? Regardless who I am, how I am, what I am, like I was, I, I'm not gonna say I was always the best dad, you know what I'm saying? I was young, I was in the streets, but at the same time, I let them, I was straight up, let them know at the same time. Like, I raised my kids from babies all the way up until they got grown to 17, 16, whatever the hell they were. Hell, matter of fact, I'm hell half to do stuff for them right now still to the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, it's not about, you know, any woman that I dealt with, even when I was married in previous marriage, uh, when I dealt with a woman, just like a woman tell a man, you have to accept my kids mm -hmm. if you want me. Yeah. I'm the type of person you gotta sell my kids yes. if you want me. Yes. Because this is a two way street. Yes. So Absolutely. if you don't sell my kids, 
then I'm not gonna accept your kids. Right. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna treat your kids like I treat my kids. Right. Mm -hmm. If I got a problem with if I got a problem with my kids or if I got a problem with your kids, it's not no secret. I'm not gonna because these are my kids. I'm gonna treat them different from yeah. how I treat mine. How if I treat mine, yours gonna get the same treat. Right. But with that being said, though, with me being a man and I decide to lead a woman, I need to know where this woman's stand at in life, though. Yeah. Like I need to know for a fact if I'm gonna lead you. I need to know for a fact if something happened to me, are you willing to have my back 100% right. and carry me? That's okay. right. I can, I, can, I can lead you oh, all day long, put you in position to win, but right. then when something go bad, you feel stick around and you ready to break on me. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. But I'm the one that fed you and kept you to where you at. It's and a lot of position. men that have that story to You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when, you, yeah. when, when a man take you and guide you somewhere, and then you turn around and shit on him, that's bullshit. A man that a lot of men be staying from that. Yeah. And then a man go a good man and turn heartless yes. and dog every woman and he treat every woman talk and then he wonder why he get with the next woman and, he, and then this is a good woman for him but he treating her like shit talk treating her bad because why because it's dumb but 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 let me say this on the same token you always have to approach everything as a new beginning yes. new someone different. Right. Yes. You can't you go in and uh, take out your, your past. Yeah, you can't really take your past you into that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So many times we don't heal from yeah. when we go so, from one situation to another. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think, I think I this is one, one of y'all, one of y'all questions too about dating women with kids. That yeah. was gonna be my next. And question. I, and I, and I just think it from a from a from a male's perspective. Yeah. You just you gotta first you gotta understand that no matter how you look, it's, it's a package. Yeah, off the top, it's, it's a package deal off the top. Mm -hmm. Number two, you got to understand that you have to really think about what you signing up for. Yes. If you love mm -hmm. and care about this woman, you have to yeah. sit back and say, okay, one kid, two kids, three kids. Am I ready for this? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times the kid's father is not in the picture. Mm -hmm. So when you when you dealing with this woman, you stepping in, you you head of household, you king of the castle, you you daddy. So guess what that that, that involves? Hey, uh, uh, clothes, shoes, food, whatever. Hey, band camp, uh, 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 <laughs> practice, whatever the case is. Uh, basketball. You got to get out your bed at eight o'clock and, and go. Pick. You got to you got to think about it. all this comes with. Yeah. So you got to sit back and think. It's not a, it, it 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 don't just stop with okay. I like this woman, but she got kids. I can. It don't just stop with that. You got to think about everything that comes with it because when you deal with this woman. It's her and her kids, and now you, the father. So it's like, hey, can you, I need you, hey, can you pick sisters up from practice? Yeah. You might not want to get out of bed at fucking 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you daddy though. The trip about the deal. Yeah. yeah, what has been your experience dating a woman with children? Dating a woman with children? I mean, that's a package deal. That that child come from that woman. So if you're going to love that woman, you got to love that child too. Period, point right. blank. That's a part of her. And that child, and that's a package deal. We got we got too many uh, fatherless seeds running around here that can't grow because they don't have a strong man in their life because too many people only concerned with fucking and have lust in their eyes and not worried about raising children and breaking up a family and making shit work. You know what I'm saying? You got too many people only concerned with that it's, and, and, and what, what this person could give me. And I was telling uh, my friend today, most men only want to help a woman with some dick. That's it. That's it. Speak yeah. on that. Let me let me help you with the door. Can I get you some dick? You need some food? Can I get you some dick? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always a door to my head because right. men are fucking predators right. and they right. prey on the weak right. by nature. So right. if you're a weak by right. individual, right. Yeah. they're gonna prey on you. Yeah. They're gonna help you with some dick. Right on out your drawers and your panties and help you. And they, and that's and if that's what you're gonna give them, that's that's what it is. Because you have the power until you give them some pussy. You give him some pussy, it's all game that. over. Now you got all the power on the man. Yeah, That's yeah. the giving game away for free. No. You know don't talk, King. Don't talk, King. Talk, 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 talk. Women know it, but it's good to hear a man actually say it and yes. confess to that. And see, and, and for a man to lead a woman, a man by nature is supposed to be a leader, but not every motherfucking man out there is a leader. Cause just because you got a dick in the balls and you got facial hair, don't make you a fucking man. I know women got fucking uh, dick and balls in hair. Right now, 2023, they more men than these other motherfuckers. Right? Yeah. There's too many of these people perpetrating the fraud of a failed 
prototype and they want to copy and copy and copy something that failed and you're not really no man because a real man's going to get out there and go dig up the kids without you even asking. Yeah. He's going to yeah. not do what he want to do but he's going to do what needs to be done yes. because that's what needs to be done not because he feels a certain way. A man is going to be stalking his own nature and his own emotion because that's what a woman needs. A woman needs somebody that's going, that she can look upon and he ain't got he ain't got to look a worry on his face. Because yes. why? A woman want to hear fucking two, three words. I got this. Mm-hmm. I got it. What you mean? I got this. It's because crazy. you're supposed to be her warrior to go to war for her. You don't come home to go handle no woman. Because you got to go out there and handle the whole goddamn world. Yeah. So now you got to come home and handle your woman too. Why? Because now for one, she ain't even been around a man because all these perpetrators of men yeah. out here acting a fraud. Acting like they men, they done fucked her mind up thinking this is what a man is. So when she meet a real motherfucker out here, she that's out here working, that's out here battling the police, that's out here straining for his life because right. her life is in jeopardy all the time. Right. You're trying to day, keep bro. money, you're yeah. trying to get a good life, you're right. trying to raise children, you're trying to be a good role model. When you're doing all these things and then and then she meet a real man, she don't know how to act because she's too busy being a man in her relationship. Mm-hmm. She yeah, being, a, she being the man to uh, the roles that reverse. Right. She the man, he the woman. Too many men are bitches right now. No, I don't want to go to work. I don't get a job. I don't make enough money. Go do what you got to go do. Be the leader that she yeah. needs to be. Because she going to follow you because she think that's what she's supposed to do as a woman. And when you and then when you follow her into the dead end and your bills ain't paid, the car don't get taken away, ain't no food in the house, the lights get turned off, the phones is off and the water's not hot, and the kids ain't got no clothes for school, now she's looking around. Man. Where can what can I do? This motherfucker that's supposed to so he sold me a dream to be, he ain't he ain't making up on his end. Because a yeah. motherfucker can run his mouth real good, but actions actions speak louder than words. Yeah. And I'm all about action. You ain't got to tell me shit. I'm gonna get out there and go do it for myself. Mm. Because you ain't gonna sit there and say, Derek didn't do this. Because right. this is about my character and what legacy I'm about to leave. And what I'm about to do in this life is raise the whole family. And everybody around me is going to be good when you get me. Because my presence is the presence. Yes. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Me yeah. being me is me. You going to love me. You going to talk about me when I leave this earth. When I leave this earth, I'm going to leave my mark on this earth. I did good for the kids and I did good for people around me. I didn't fuck over nobody. And if I did, you had it coming to you because you did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me ask this right here. Let me let me let me let me let me ask this. What about and I heard women who and it's crazy to me who got kids but say, oh well, I don't talk. To, I don't want to talk to a man this with mean, kids. I know I women like that. Let me say why. Let me say why. So I wouldn't date a dude with kids, and I have one child. But let me say why, because I have a child, well, I have a baby daddy. I hate that word. I have a child's father. And the way how he blows up my phone and still want his family back and want to still be with me, and we broke up so long ago, I just can't trust it. I feel like you dudes really, and I have friends who deal with the same thing. I have family members who deal with the same thing. So I just can't trust that you ain't still blowing up your mama's phone thinking about what you missed out on, thinking about what could have been. I don't have time for that. Then, too, some people that come with the drama that baby mama's, and all that type of stuff like that. And I just don't want to deal with it. Because me personally, I don't have time to be fighting your baby mama or arguing with her, texting my phone or calling your phone at 3 o'clock in the morning or being spiteful towards you because you with another another person. So people might say, oh, that's delusional. How you not going to have a baby with somebody and you got a baby? But it's just not something that I'm interested in. I'm cool on it. But, mm-hmm. but um, in reverse to that, though, what I am starting to realize is a lot of dudes that, do, that I do deal with are men. I call them dudes because they really be childish sometimes. <laughs> but a lot of men that I deal with, um, they do be saying like, oh, they don't have kids. So they say, I don't really like dealing with people that got kids like that. And I feel like, okay, why? Really because it's insecurities within them. They be feeling like I'm messing with this guy. Even if I reassure them and show them and tell them and do this and do all that, they still feel like, you still want your baby daddy back. Mm-hmm. I want that man. <laughs> 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 the situation that you're assuming about them, though. But that's what they be really doing, though. Not everybody. Majority of them. Because they probably feel that same way because they've had the same experience and they're putting their experience on, on you. you. It's a projection. And you're doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, so it's a, it's a two-way street. Yeah. Well, okay. Well. All right. So my take on being a woman or being a mother who has a child and not wanting to date somebody who have children is based off of my own personal experience. Now, when I was younger and I didn't have kids, I didn't want to date anybody with kids because I was 
looking for a man that I can have a child with and that will be our first experience. You can tell yourself in your mind, oh, I don't want to do with kids, but when you dating somebody and getting to know somebody, you don't control who you fall in love with. I ended up being with somebody who had a whole bunch of kids and I didn't know he had a bunch of kids, but you know, it is what it is. Now, me as a 45-year-old woman with a 21-year-old son, I don't want to date nobody who have small children. It would be a plus if they did not have kids, but it's also a negative if they don't have kids because me and my own personal experience, I feel like people that have never had kids don't really understand a parent. You're still kind of selfish because the way that a mother or a father loves their child it's on a whole nother level. So when you're dating somebody that have never had to give themselves to another human, they don't understand that bond that's there. You know, also in my experience with being with somebody who had a bunch of kids, that man did not have 100% or 90% or 85, 80, 50% of time <laughs> for me and our child. And the story that I'm talking about in this experience is I married a man who had kids. I didn't know he was going to have as many kids as he ended up having. But when I accepted the fact of the two kids that I knew about, come Christmas time when they look kids, I want to have Christmas at my house. You know what I'm saying? But now you got these two kids. You got to go to that girl house. You got to go to that girl house. And if she petty and she still wants you, now you're creating insecurities that I ain't never had because I ain't never had to worry about a woman. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have kids, I ain't got to worry about what your baby mama trying to do because I might trust you, but I don't trust her. And if we beef in today and you go over there, you're vulnerable. So now that's an extra something annoying that I don't want to worry about. Yes. So at my age, I done been through the baby mama drama. I done been through feeling like my child is neglected because daddy got to go over there and be with that person or dating a man where, well, I get my kids every other weekend, so I can't really spend no time with you. I want every weekend. I don't want to share my weekends with you. Why me, you and your kids can't be together? So that's just extra drama that I don't want. So some women might feel like, I don't want to date a man with kids and I got five kids. I don't have five kids, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but you can set whatever expectations you want because I might feel like, well, I don't want to date a guy that's got kids. So what if I got kids? I don't want to date that person with kids. And that man has a right to say, well, I don't want to date you. But guess what? It's a man out there that ain't got no kids that want to be with me and my child with me having a child. So it's all about what are you willing to accept or let go? Yeah. Well, I'm going to let that go. That's all I have to say on that topic. But my next question is mm -hmm. expectations. What expectations do you have in a relationship? Sometimes people say, um, I'm dating with a purpose. What does that mean to you? Dating with a purpose, right? What does that mean to you? What's that? Well, not just in general for dating, but I believe you're supposed to do everything in life with a purpose. If you're doing something without a purpose, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. So you're supposed to approach everything like it's your first day on the job and that you have enthusiasm about it, that, you have, that you're charismatic about it, want to nurture that and let it grow whether it's dating with another individual or other aspects of your life and I think if you if you're lacking in other aspects of your life the purpose then you're not going to be a dating with a purpose type of person you're going to be somebody that's going to be a uh, fuck boy or fuck girl or city girl or somebody like that <laughs> city girl don't have nobody a fuck boy. Purpose, <laughs> city girl. you know what I'm saying <laughs> your only concern is with fucking Mm -hmm. or, or getting the bag, or what can you do for me today? That's superficial of stuff. That superficial shit, really, that's a real shallow-minded way of thinking about things, mm -hmm. and then you have to go a little bit deeper. So if you are if if you have to look at other aspects of your life, in your life that doesn't have any purpose to it, or you're not attacking that with some focus and enthusiasm, or, or, or with some drive, and, and you're not goal-orientated, and you don't have the right people around you, in that aspect, then you're not going to have the right person and the right partner with you to help you grow, period, yeah. because you're going to attract what you're putting out. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if you're not putting out the right things in this aspect, you're going to get the wrong person anyway. Mm -hmm. And then all that shit's going to fall down like a house of cards when the wind blows. Because it ain't built on nothing. No, it's really. built without purpose, right? Exactly. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up with that right there. And before we go with our Lay It On The Line crew, I have <laughs> one question, and I'm going to give y'all 30 seconds because it's so many of us. In 30 seconds, tell me, if you could go back and talk to your younger self, we're going to start with you, Miss Rhonda. Mm -hmm. What would you tell yourself? Miss Rhonda. Um, I would tell my younger self, if you feel it, trust it, mm -hmm. and go with it, and don't deny it, and don't talk it away, 
If you feel it, it's real. Trust it. You don't need to see it. You don't need to corroborate it. Trust your intuition. Um, I would also say to my younger self, if anyone is unsure about you, well, baby, I, you know, I like you, but I'm not sure. You're too great and you're too awesome, too beautiful and too smart for anybody to be unsure about you. Mm -hmm. love. You walk away and don't lose any sleep about it. Mm -hmm. and don't even think about it anymore because you have so much to give. And for anybody to sleep on that, it's totally that nice. Okay. But that's all I have. Okay. Cause she took my first one. It's definitely to trust, trust yourself, trust your gut. Um, the people always say that women have intuition. I think we all have intuition. We all have that gut that tells us what's right and what's wrong. And when we feel something, we always want to go get that proof for it. I would say definitely trust for me to trust my gut, but then also to um, be patient, not to always be in a rush. And so that would be my biggest thing, be patient. Okay. I would, um, I would tell myself to be mindful be mindful of what you present be mindful of the things that um, you say and be very clear and concise in what your needs and wants are and if you cannot get what you need um, from a person then there's no need for them to be around because there has to be a push and pull I give to you and you give to me so uh spinning the wheels sort of and not receiving anything in return is dead so um understand who you are understand that um you are very intelligent and understand that you know exactly what's going on you just have to be sure mm -hmm. that's it okay well i would tell my younger self that um don't be so young and eager to rush into playing house <laughs> Focus Amen. on yourself um, and strive for what you want and where you see yourself in the next 10 years. Not 19, 20 year old me, but 32, 34, mm. 35 year old me. So strive for those things and work towards it despite whatever trials, tribulations, um, or adversity that I might be going through. Continue to just push myself and put love to the back burner. Mm. And the person that you're destined to be with is going to come in line with you. Yeah, but right. don't be so eager to play house in a young age. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, stay a child as long as you can. Yes. 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 Now you know what that means. Because yes. I'm going to show you heard it, right? Let me go. Honestly, I wouldn't tell my younger self nothing because I like the person that I am right now. <laughs> and all the experience that I've had in my life has made me into this person right here. Mm -hmm. And I and I think for myself, honestly, that's pretty good for me. You know, I don't want to go back and do this over again or talk to my younger self. I don't want to change anything because I am who I am. I'm a bad motherfucker. All right. I wake up every day and I look in the mirror and be like, you a bad motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I take today on it and whoop today's ass. And I wouldn't be like that if something, if I had to change anything about myself. Good or bad, all those experiences made me who I am today. Yeah, okay. You know? So it's safe to say you would have told your younger self, I just know. be you. Just be you. Right. Punches. So, Mark Rio, in 30 uh, seconds. I would tell my younger self, it's real talk. I would tell my younger self to focus on, uh, focus on family, focus on legacy, focus on lineage. Because uh, I'm, I'm 45, no kids. Mm -hmm. uh, Mainly because I was afraid what my mom was gonna say. I'm real, you know, particularly me, my mom's close. But if I was talking to my younger self, I would say, focus on that. They could drop loads. Put the camera, <laughs> drop loads. Just loads drop loads. Like, I used to drive trucks on the road, so I, I don't know. I don't know if I got in out there, but I used to drop loads. You could drop <laughs> loads. I was a stone. Drop loads. <laughs> yeah, just keep dropping. Fill her up. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought you were saying. Have it oozing. That's the keyword oozing onto the sheets. All right. So, with that, we going to leave it yeah. there. Okay, with that being said, we're going to wrap it up. But with that being said, we'll wrap it up with me personally. Like I said, I'm going to change that in life with me because I'm good where I'm at in life. I don't think I probably said, why are you fucking off all that money in the street? That's it. <laughs> And that's it. So with that being said, we're gonna wrap it up. Drop it. Now this is part one, Battle of the Sexes. Y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. We're gonna come back with part two of Battle the of the Sexes. It's been real here. The boy Miles. Lay it on the line.